Hi everyone, I'm Teacher Faye from Blue Tree Education Learning Center. Are you ready to learn math with me? Let's go! In the rectangle below, the area of triangle A is one-third the area of the rectangle. The area of triangle B is one-quarter the area of the rectangle. And the area of A is 5.85 square centimetres more than the area of triangle B. As you can see, there are some repeated names of rectangle being mentioned. So that would prompt us to write a ratio to help us to solve the question. So part A, find the area of the rectangle. Now let's write the ratio. A is to rectangle is 1 is to 3. B is to rectangle is 1 is to 4. And so I have to make the rectangle units the same because it's a repeated identity. And so the LCM of 3 and 4 is equal to 12. So the first ratio I multiply by 4 and the second ratio I multiply by 3. When you do a comparison of triangle A and B, take a look at 4 units and 3 units, it's a difference of 1 unit and therefore 1 unit is equal to 5.85. To find the area of the rectangle, which is a total of 12 units, we'll take 12 times 5.85, which will give us the answer 70.2 square centimetres. And that's the answer for part A. Are you ready? We'll go on to solve part B. Find the perimeter of the rectangle. As you can see, three marks have been allocated to this part of the question, which means that this part is definitely require more steps then part A. The area of A is equivalent to 4 units as presented in the ratio. So we take 4 times 5.85 to find the area of triangle A, which is 23.4. As we know that the area of triangle is half times base times height, so 23.4 is actually half, the area has been halved. So in order to find the height of A, I will need to reverse the step by taking 23.4 times 2 first and then divide by the base of 7.2 cm to find the height, which is 6.5 cm. To find the length of the rectangle, I will take the area of the rectangle, which is 70.2 divide by 6.5, which is the height of A. And the height of A is actually equals to the breadth of the rectangle. So this is how we find the length. In order to find the parameter, we will take two times the length plus breadth. So there's many ways of finding the parameter. You can take length plus breadth plus length plus breadth. However, over here, I'm just putting one set of length and breadth together and multiply by 2. And so that will give you an answer of 34.6 cm.